Hello everyone and welcome back to PE Academy. So this is the part 2 of the video series under epicycloid. And in this part 2, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a tangent and a normal. So if you missed the part 1 of this video, in the part 1 of this video, I show how to draw an uh, epicycloid, which is what we are having here. But now we want to draw a tangent and a normal. So in drawing a tangent and a normal, you are going to pick a point on this epicycloid. So you can just pick any point. So let's say I want to pick this point as where I want my tangent to be. And let me just call the point uh, point Y. So now that I know that this is where I want my tangent to be, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my compass and measure the radius of the rolling circle, which is the radius of this circle that we are having here. And we use the radius of uh, 30 mm. This is it here. The radius of 30 mm. What we are having, this is it, the radius of 30 mm. So I'm going to me measure it on my ruler. All right, so I already have my compass to be on 30 mm. So that 30 mm is same as 3 centimeters. So I'll place it on point Y. And on that, I'm going to draw an arc on this line, this curve that is coming through from C, from C like this, where we are having the C1, C2, the line that extends like this. I'm going to draw an arc like this. So now where, it is, where the arc is touching that line, I'm going to note it. This is it. So let me just call that point, uh, point X, point X. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from this point O to point X. So this is the line. Now where this line is touching this lower, uh, this lower arc that is coming from A, like this, that's the base. Let me note it. I'll call that point point Z. I'll call that point point Z. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from point Z to point Y. So this line I'll be drawing from point Z to point Y is what we call the normal. It represents the normal. So that's why I made it bold. So now I'm going to write it um, on it. Okay, let me write it here. So let me write it here that that is the normal. The normal. So this is the normal to the epicycloid. So now that we've been able to get the normal to the epicycloid, the next thing is to get the tangent. I remember that tangent is perpendicular to normal. So that means from point Y, I'm going to draw a line that is perpendicular to the normal. So you bring your compass, place it on point Y, and at any convenient length, you are going to draw a semicircle. So where the semicircle is touching the normal, with the same length, you are going to draw an arc on the semicircle, and on the other side, you are going to draw another arc. So there is a separate video that talks about how to draw a line that is perpendicular from a given point. So if you check the playlist on technical and engineering drawing, you are going to see a video that explains it. So just follow along. So where the arc is touching the semicircle, you are going to place the compass there and draw an arc. So from the point of intersection, you are going to draw a line that will pass through point Y. Alternatively, you can also use your, your protractor. Just place it on point Y and then at 90 degree, you draw the line. So with this, this line I've just drawn is perpendicular to the normal, represents the tangent. So I'll just write it as the tangent. So with that, we now have the tangent and the normal from point Y. So whatever point you are giving, just follow the step and then you are going to have your tangent and your normal. If you are yet to subscribe to PE Academy, do, sub do so by subscribing. And then the part one of this video, in case you miss it on how to draw a epicycloid, I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video. Also, I'm also going to leave link to other uh, curves like, like how to draw the hyperbola, something like this. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. Here is epicycloid, just the opposite of hypocycloid, as you can see. They are opposite. Uh, epicycloid is like this. Hypocycloid is like this. I'm also going to be leaving a video of how to draw a parabola and how to draw their tangents. I'm also going to leave a link to a video of how to draw a cycloid like this, something like this, and how to draw a cylindrical helix. So the links to all of this, I'm going to leave them in the description of this video. So if you have any question, any comment, or any video request, uh, do let me know in the comment section below. Uh, also let me uh, also check our playlist on Techna and Engineering Drawing. There are a lot of videos that I believe will be of help to you. Also check out our website, paacademy.co, paacademy.co. And with that, guys, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you very much.